Hi, Mark here for the Kensington Minute. He was a nondescript, soft-spoken British engineer with many contacts in Eastern Europe. His low-key demeanor, stable personality, and credible reason for travel made him a viable candidate to serve as a courier for British intelligence, which he did. That is, he served MI6 until he was arrested by Soviet authorities for espionage and swapped out for an imprisoned Soviet spy in Britain. So, who was this mild-mannered Brit? Yeah, he was Gravel Wynne, and he served as a courier carrying secrets from Soviet agent Oleg Penkovsky. Wynne had no experience in intelligence when he was recruited by MI6, but he would not appear out of place in the Soviet Union because of his actual business plans. Soviet intelligence officer Oleg Penkovsky had access to highly classified information that was in much demand in the West. More on Penkovsky later in a separate Kensington Minute. Both Penkovsky and Wynne were arrested in November 1962, and they were convicted of espionage. Penkovsky was executed the following year, and Wynne was sentenced to eight years imprisonment, and he was detained at Lubyanka Prison. He kept struggling with his deteriorating health, and he was released in 1964 in exchange for spy Gordon Lonsdale. Penkovsky was shot. During his imprisonment in the Lubyanka, Wynne did not hold up well at all. He never fully recovered from the tough time he had in prison. Mr. Wynne, have you any comments to make on uh, the way you were treated in prison? Not at this stage, gentlemen. Uh, they treated me in the way that they felt about things. Is this His marriage dissolved and the relationship, the treasured relationship that he had with his son went into tatters. Wynne began making fanciful statements about his espionage activities. He became a fabulist. He was criticized for being a, quote, rent-a-spokesperson for all kinds of espionage stuff, unquote. He produced his memoirs, but a large segments were errant nonsense to the embarrassment of the BBC, which made a TV movie based on them. Well, this is just too bad. By most accounts, he was a simple man and a British patriot taking risks to serve his country. His son wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps in intelligence, but he died in a car accident when he was 22. So tragedy followed tragedy. About the movie. Kensington will go into some details in a movie review. Um, I would see it. Yeah, Most of it is accurate and stars... Benedict Cumberbatch, who delivers, as usual, a strong, calm British performance. Fine actor. This Kensington Minute does not represent the official position of the United States government. Take the Kensington Challenge. It's at the top of our homepage. See if you can pass it. Out here.